welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile. As you see here, um, it's, well, if you haven't already guessed it, it's Adam Spaders. I'm doing an updated version because, well, I think that the other version was not the best. Um, it definitely had a lot of room for improvement, and it was more of like, it was a lot more brickier, it didn't have the best draws, and Block Dragon now is banned, so it's, it's a little difficult, but I really still think that this deck is good and can be good in some well a lot of circumstances against some of the meta decks uh, today but yeah let's just get right into it so first off we're on dark magician paradise black dragon for you know it's the dragoon stuff it's it's crazy it's a great card you can make it super easy in this deck because of all well, it's spam and yeah this is a nice card one beta for the unexpected die plays it's it's a nice card it's just a free level four rock out there to go into gallant granite really easily Onto the effect monsters, we're running Triple Quacky My Root Guardian. This is just to reveal, and it's a free negate um, of activation card effect, which is really cool. Well, monster effect, which is really, really good. Um, I'm, I am running two Dynatherms, basically kind of in place of Block Dragon. Uh, so you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon itself uh, once per turn this rate. And if it's special summoned, um, this effect, you can your opponent can special summon one level four monster from... Uh, either player's graveyard to their side of the field. Usually you can do this going first, but I put it in there instead of like Photon Thrasher or I don't know, like any of the other stuff. Um, mainly because it can special summon during any time in the game instead of just like you, you control no monsters, which I think is really cool. And it's it's just a level four to go on Gaunt Granite. It's a little more consistent with this card in there. I am running Triple Analyzer. Um, duh, it's just a great card. Um, so this is basically the Cyber Dragon, and you know what they do. They flip up five and get a rock out there, so it's, it's a really cool card. Um, triple Kwaki Myru Supplier. Um, if face a rock monster, you control center of the graveyard, so Synchro Summoning, Link Summoning, anything like that. You can special summon this card from your hand, so it's Link Fodder, XZ Fodder, Synchro Fodder, basically all that kind of stuff. You can then you can add one um, Iron Core of Quackamaru or one card that specifically lists Iron Core of Quackamaru in its text. So you can add Guardian if you special summon this card from your hand. And it, it's actually if it's special summon anyway, so you can add it um, off of like special summoning Analyzer or any kind of card like that. I am running a two Madolce uh, Penning Sessor. Um, it's just a free special summon if you control no monsters in the graveyard, which is really neat. It's kind of a bricky card. This card is interchangeable between a lot of stuff in the side deck, which I will get into later. And yeah, it's it's okay. I, it's a little more consistent with it, but at the same time, it's not super consistent with it. And <clears throat> But if you're going turn one with this card, it's amazing in your hand. Uh, hand Trap lineup, I am running um, Double Ash, Double Effect Veiler and Double Impermanence. It's just kind of obvious. It's great cards. For the meta right now, you, this card is really interchangeable, especially, um, and, well, basically all the hand traps are, um, you could probably change this out for Gamma if you really wanted to, but I like it how it is right now. Triple Us Seeker, this one's probably the worst, I would say, out of all of them. You have to control out Emancipator Monster, just push them in this card from your hand, which, I mean, it's okay, but, eh, it, it's nice to have it just a tuner out there and something I can special summon. Triple uh, Doki Doki. I like this card. Some people don't. Some people dropped it down to two, but I like it at three. You just discard a rock monster, special summon, um, so special summon from your deck. One rock monster that has the same original attribute and level as that monster. And face up attack position or face down defense position. It's it's okay. It's it's not like the best, but I I like it a lot in there. Um, it's it's a little more consistent. And if you have some bricky cards in your hand, like if you drew a guardian or you have like a supplier in there that you can't get rid of, it's just a nice card to have in your hand. I am running Triple Researcher, it's basically one of the best cards in the deck. Um, if you control a rock monster, special summon it, which is like crazy, and they all do the same thing. On to the spells, we are going to go um, Triple Unexpected Die for uh, the Gamma play, I mean Beta, the, um, just it's just stuff for Exe Fodder. Or, um, like, if I want to do Link Fodder into, like, IP or something like that. But it really never comes up. It's usually to go into Gallant Granite to search the Researcher from your hand, which is really cool. I am running the one Red Ice Fusion for the Dragoon. And, uh, round off of the spells, I am running Triple Adam Mancipator Signs. It's just a Reborn. You can target one rock, rock monster in Greyheart, Special Summon it, which is really cool. 
and it's it's nice it's a nice card in there uh, and for run for the deck i am running double judgment this card is also interchangeable with anything i just like it in there because it says no to anything on the extra deck running one dragoon this card's just it's just the boss monster everybody should be running it it's just a crazy card and it's really expensive it's really nice in this deck you, you can draw a lot of bricks in this deck i can see that now you can draw three bricks at the same time but it's all right i mean well, four bricks technically but yeah it, it's a great card in the deck um so it usually never comes up but it's it's just a great card in the deck one borrowed savage um it's it's a good card it's a free negate um equal to link rating i go into it sometimes not a whole bunch if i have the right board out there i go into this and get a dragoon and avermax that's like the ideal board which is really cool but it's it's a good card i'm running crystal wing synchro dragon just another negate thing um one drag i i am running this because for one it can get over well it, it can battle against your unit and do that and for two it's a five compulse if you manage to get all rock monsters which is really cool um the only time you can get the negate is if uh, Hulk of Fibrax is engraved, and you haven't already Borla Savaged it, which it sometimes happens, but usually not. I'm not running the uh, water one in there because it's just a brick. It, you draw it, it's really bad. If you summon it, it's amazing because you get a draw card, and it's it's a great card, but it's just a brick in there. It's 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 not the best. I am running one Draco Berserker of the Ten Yi. This card's really cool. Um, it can banish stuff from the field, um, and then it attacking. If an attacking monster is destroyed by a card, of, well, if this attacking card destroys an effect monster, this card gains attack equal to the destroyed monster's original attack, and also it can make a second attack on the monster, so it gains permanent attack, and it's a really cool. But I like the banishing effect a lot because it's it's like if they activate if they have a huge card out there, if they activate effect, it banishes, and it doesn't target, which is really cool. I am running one Naturia Barkeon. This card's really neat because it negates a lot of, well, it negates all uh, traps basically just by banishing two, which is really cool. I don't run the Beast because I don't run any level threes, obviously you can see in there, but it's a really nice card. I am running one Raptite. This is probably the best out of all of the Synchros. Um, I am not running the Leonite. It's not the best. It just adds stuff to hand, which is eh. Um, so this one special summons any rock monster, which is really cool. It could, doesn't like exclude tuners or Nibiru or stuff like that, which is really cool if you want to get beefy stuff on board. And then if you win monsters in your graveyard, which I only have one in here, which is Dynatherm, which it may happen, but it may not. It's basically a DD Crow, so it's it's pretty nice. Onto the XZs, the two we have, um, Gallant Granite. You go in this card like every single turn. Well, well, not every single turn because you only have one in there. I like the one you could bump it up to two, uh, interchange it with uh, the Bush Dweller in there, but I like it at one. It's it's pretty nice. And since some of the decks that are running right now, like BA or stuff, it's really nice. Um, I just like it in there. Onto the links, the main part of the deck. I am running one of the Avermax. You can interchange this with Appaloosa. This is just my personal preference. But this card, if you do it correctly, you can get. It can not be destroyed by card effects, can't target it, and they have to um, attack it, which is really cool. It's really difficult to get over unless they, well, the only thing that can really get over it is stuff that does not target, or stuff um, that doesn't, so it basically bore load, um, not bore load, uh, bore load is basically the only one, bore load dragon is basically the only one that can get over it, which is really kind of difficult. Next card I'm running is one Nightmare Unicorn. It's just, I'm running the two Nightmare Unicorn, Nightmare Phoenix, Spell and Trap Removal, and Monster um, Balance Back to Hand, which is really, well, Card Back to Hand, which is really cool. One Halka Firebrax, it's obvious in this deck, it's a really nice card in there if you can play correctly. One IP, just for, um, to link across this bad boy for Tanaconda. This card's just crazy right now. It's just the free Dragoon, and basically in this deck, you're always going to have pretty much two effect monsters almost all the time, and you can really go on this card really easily. Onto the side deck, I am running Triple Nibiru. It's, it's a pretty great card in this format, um, but like this is like I said, this is like all my personal 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 preference. Some days I, well, all the videos I can't speak. 
Um, triple Gamma Seal, Sea Turtle Kaiju, it's just removal of the Dragoon or any other boss monster. I like it in there. Triple Paralog, see, this is interchangeable between the Madolce uh, Petting Sasaur or really anything if you want to for extra link place. Or you can go into Granite or Abyss Dweller with it, which I think is really cool. I'm running the third ash, you can change this with any other hand trap or really anything. One Harpy's Father Duster and um, one Monster Born, just kind of stuff. It's 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 just, I kind of had some fillers, so I just put it in there. And I am final finalizing the deck, I'm running three, three Cosmic Cyclones. Um, you can run whatever you want really, like um, Lightning Storm, any of the spell and trap removal. It's just a nice card to have in the side deck in case you go any of those trap stones decks like Eldritch, Eldritch or anything like that. But yeah, that's really the deck profile and let's just get right into a duel. Alrighty, so I am hosting a duel here. Uh, someone did join. We are going to go right into the duel and hopefully we can go first. Um, it's definitely going to be like a rocky thing. So he's probably guessing that I'm going to be playing paper. Oh, no, we're just going to go this route. Let's see what I can do. Oh, I, I can go first. Yay. I'm probably going to draw garbage. Holy crap. That's actually a pretty dang good hand. This card is always stick with me, like stuck with me. So we're going to special summon our Dynatherum. So defense. Going to activate, but it can't. We're going to normal summon our Kawaki Mairu Supplier. We're going to activate our Emancipated Research, do a special summon in defense position. Since we already have a researcher, we're going to um, synchro summon into Gallant Granite. I mean, not synchro summon, XZ summon. We're going to detach the Dino Theorem, and we're actually going to do um, Ad Emancipator Seeker, uh, strangely enough, since we control an Ad Emancipator Monster. Special summon the Seeker, we're going to activate both of them, hopefully we can get something, nope. Alrighty, we're going to activate the other one to see if we can get something. Okay, we got Doki Doki, that's eh. Um, yep, we're going to special summon, yeah, we'll special summon the Doki Doki, Let's just see how it goes. I'm probably going to do a interesting play for a lot of people. I'm going to go into Verta Anaconda. It's just, it's just how the meta is right now. And then I'm actually going to go into IP Mascarena using these two because I'm probably not going to get the search next turn. If I do, it's going to be amazing, but I'm probably not. So I'm going to activate, pay 2000, go Red Eyes Fusion. Get Dragoon, discarding both of these cards. Get Dragoon out on the field, and then I'm actually gonna pass turn to him. This is basically the meta right now. The reason why I summon IP is for that Avermax, and it's Avermax just hurts uh, a lot of decks right now, especially since they can't imperm it, and they have to attack into it with already existing 3000 attack, and the fact that it can gain stuff, and it can't be destroyed by card effects is really crazy, so. It's, it's a really cool card, and especially IP Masquerina, unless he imperms it or something like that. So he's going to activate Tune Bookmark. We're going to chain IP with that. We're not going to activate Dragoon. We're going to special summon our Avermax. Like I said, you can interchange this with um, whatever you want, really. So you can interchange it with um, Appaloosa, any other big guys, Borload, Borload's hat, well, Borl Sword anything it, it's really really kind of i just like it because it can't be destroyed by card effects as you can see right there and he's gonna grab some tune monster i'm not familiar with the tune deck because i personally don't think it is the best but it can do its we're gonna do its things every here now and then but um with this board that i have right here it's probably gonna be a little difficult for him to play um so he's gonna add his tune bls thing i, I have like no clue what it is um the potential of the deck it's i think it's going to be like tune bls like turbo i'm not really sure um so we're going to activate we're going to just pitch that to negate and destroy and we're going to gain a thousand attack dragoon is just a crazy card um we should just follow the ocg and ban it um but it would be bad marketing for konami but i mean it doesn't really matter he's going to special summon by discarding the card Attributing oh, two monsters from your hand or field whose total level is equal to eight or more. Okay, well, your opponent 
Well, you control two in the world. You can't. You cannot. Um, this card can attack directly. Interesting. Once per turn, if you control two in the world, you can target one card in the field. Banish it. Also, this card cannot attack the turn. This effect is negated. Interesting card. He's going to attack into like, Avermax. I'm going to activate Avermax's effect. And he's going to take that 3,000 right in the face. I mean, this deck, sure, it's interesting, but it's... I mean, it can get BLS out there, but that's basically their only condition. And it could probably get Dragoon, like, literally any deck. And we've won. <laughs> Not a really of a shocker. Um, it's definitely... I think this deck is really good um, still it's definitely not one of the top five but it's probably in the top ten right now along with BA maybe maybe but I'm just this is just my personal preference and this card this this card's really crazy this card's pretty crazy but this card is just crazy the fact that you can use it in basically any deck and get it out there for a free negate double pop and burn doesn't target to like negate which i think is really crazy or target to pop which that's really crazy and yeah um if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe that would be great greatly appreciated and yeah thanks for watching